From our next stop on the uh, Red River Farm Network Crop Tour presented by Pioneer, I'm Randy Conan. We're in Lake Park, Minnesota, visiting with Corey O'Leary at Precision Seed and Service. And uh, Corey, we're getting, it's raining outside, but you were quick enough, you jumped out and got some beans and got some corn over here. We'll, we'll uh, kind of pan around and look at that here in just a little bit. But uh, Corey, let's first of all talk about this crop. Well, we've come through uh, some drought, finally getting rain here now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's great to see uh, the clouds kind of open up for us here. It's Wish we could have got it a little long or a little while ago, but um, it is what it is. And I think uh, guys are pretty optimistic or excited uh, to get into harvest here and start looking towards 2022 as well. So sure. In this Lake Park area now, what is this crop looking like? What's what, what's the season been like? Uh, a lot of variability. Uh, certainly some dry spots out there. The sand pockets are really showing um, some stress in areas and have been for a while. But there's also been some areas that have caught some rains and and the crop looks pretty good and. And overall, compared to some some outlying areas from this direct region, I guess I think we're we're sitting pretty good comparatively. So I was thinking this is one of the areas that seemed like it was catching a few of those smaller rains. Nothing big, but we got some some consistent rains anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, I would I would agree with that. Uh, really ahead of the the recent or before the recent rains here, uh, it was Fourth of July weekend when we what was our last real measurable event and. Uh, it, it just took a while to get this next one, but, but here we are, and we've probably caught close to two inches over the past week, okay. so that's, that's really helping. You uh, brought some soybeans in. Tell me about soybeans. Yeah, soybeans are, are looking okay. Um, I think some of that, that top end yield probably got nipped a little bit by the drought, um, but, but pod fill seems to be, to be going well. Um, hopefully this moisture will help with some grain size, um, which should, should help with yield ultimately. Um, these are three of our Enlist products. Um, Enlist is really where Pioneer and Corteva is going as a company, and, and I, really, I really believe that it's the future of soybeans. Sure. The beans have kind of amazed me this year, too. They, they, they hung on really well. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're doing well. Um, some of them wrote it down really nice. Um, you know, again, I think in our area, we're, we're pretty fortunate to be where we're at. Yeah, for sure. Let's move over here a little bit and talk about corn and see what we got here. Some of this corn uh, looks like it's uh, uh, most of all dented already, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty well. I, I haven't looked at, I mean, we can shuck these open a little bit too and check them out, but the 85, 85 88 is our, is our first product here. Um, some of that's approaching black layer even. Um, and then you move on to 87 and 91. But um, yeah, you can see, I mean, the, where these came out of our plot right next to the building here, it's not as drought stressed as some areas. So we're staying green fairly well with it so now with that drought stress corn do we have to be worried about stock integrity um i think any year when you get extreme um, weather one way or the other i think yes that is is something to to be cognizant of um you know this this crop the the plants are putting everything it can into that ear and grain development right now and as we progress on it's something we should probably keep an eye on what do you tell guys from a year like this uh, where, where it's been drought areas, been dry, uh, they're used to seeing great big bushels. We're going to have a, it's not going to be the, uh, the, the bumper type crop. It's drier, gonna... but not this extreme. So I think, and, and it goes for every year. I always tell guys plan for normal and, um, you know, get a good product mix out there. You know, 85, 87, 89. I mean, all those kind of jive later maturity, earlier maturity. We've got products outside of that too, but. I think you have to plan for normal and, and uh, I mean, just give yourself the best shot for, for a good growing season next year. Sure. Uh, we've touched a little bit on beans and corn, both, uh, both uh, new products coming for next year? Uh, yeah. Yeah, beans, we've, we've got some new stuff coming. We don't even, uh, or we, we know there is some new stuff. Um, we're going to take a good look at those other research plots and all, all those things too. Um, and, and most of them will be the Enlist platform. And then corn, yeah, we've, we have a new 84 day in the lineup right now. Uh, there's a new 88 day coming that looks really well. The 91 day that's, that's displayed here on the end is new this year, and that looks really well. So, um, yeah, we're excited. Um, keep, keep growing um, our lineup, and, and Pioneer's really putting a lot of money and effort into our, our whole platform. Sure. Well, that's one thing. A year like this year, you, you really, it really highlights the genetics. Yeah, it does. I mean, you can certainly pick out... Uh, certain things, you know, how, how one hybrid likes something, the other doesn't. And um, again, that goes back to product mix, having that, 
that you know those products put together and and really uh, even even yourself out and and uh, set yourself up for a good good harvest. Sure. Visiting with Corey O'Leary here at Precision Seed and Service at uh, Lake Park, Minnesota. We're on the Red River Farm Network Crop Tour presented by Pioneer. I'm Randy Conan.